Life, chop life, don't let life chop you. <laughs> headquarters revolution gang if you haven't subscribed yet then make sure that you click the subscribe button below and join the revolution so today is I kid you not it is Wednesday the 15th of September so as you're watching this today I literally just filmed it it is 12:54 my time which means in SA it is about 6:54. Um, there's a six hour difference and I had a whole video that I edited and planned to post today but my editing software is being weird and it's refusing to save the video I've literally tried everything and it's just not working and when I save another video it saves but the one I have planned for today is just not working so I decided that I'm going to quickly record this video and post it today just to make sure that I get something out and that I check in with you guys and I'm trying to make this video to be like as short as possible um, but I'm also like on this adrenaline rush so I need to calm down okay let me calm down first of all um, this video is going to be me just doing some administrative stuff with you and just checking in with you and I just want to have a conversation about what's been happening in my life um, and what I've been thinking about lately so I'm gonna try and make it short also because of the rush on this video guys you're gonna have to just have mercy but I, it's not gonna be edited to my usual style which you guys are accustomed to by now but um, before I get into talking about where I've been in my life and stuff like that I just want to start off by saying thank you guys so much for 18,000 subscribers it's 18k for the babies <laughs> Thank you guys so much for 18,000 subscribers and now we are on the road to 20k so please guys if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed please do click the subscribe button please turn on your post notifications um, and get other people to subscribe as well guys like share the content this is a revolution you are the revolution gang let us spread the revolution and speaking of revolution gang I want to give I want to give a post notification shout out to Musa Black thank you so much for all the love that you, that you show my channel and that you just show me in general you're so awesome thank you for all your engagements and everything if you want a post notification shout out then just comment down below on the video let me know that you have your post notifications on that you're subscribed and that you would like a shout out more on the admin side is guys please don't skip the ads because I'm trying to make money in this life guys I'm trying to you know what I mean like you know what I'm saying trying to make money so please don't skip the ads if the ad is like a one minute ad just watch the first 30 seconds if an ad is 30 seconds long or 15 just watch it don't skip it help me make money so I can continue making content because making content is not free quite frankly um, so yeah that's just that on that part another thing is I think I want to introduce a segment to the channel where I just talk about things that I've been wrestling with in my mind things that I feel like venting about um, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna post these videos on Wednesday or if I should find another day for them. So as you know, I post vlogs on Mondays, not every Monday, but every other Monday. Although I've been posting every Monday, but I post vlogs on Mondays. Um, when I have Black Excellence videos, which is the business segment, I post that on Sundays. Obviously I post every Wednesday. So if I have this new segment, I can post it on Wednesday because I mean, it's, it's, it's content. Um, but I can also maybe post it on a different day. So you guys let me know. Um, and I'll make up my mind but it's pretty much just me sitting here and I'll have a snack of sorts I don't drink tea that much so I don't know if I'll have tea but maybe but I'll be sipping on something maybe nibbling on something and just talking to you guys about something I'm wrestling with some think pieces that I want you guys to think about and discuss with so me now going into what's been happening um, in my life lately lately I have been faced with a lot of death an overwhelming amount of death in fact since last year to this year I think we all have because of COVID but the death that I've been witnessing these days is not even COVID death, you know, it's death from other things, you know, and you know that thing that death does to you where it makes you stop and reflect about life. And I'm trying to get to a point where I don't wait for death to force me to slow down or to remind me about the essence of life and the value of life, you know. Um, and even this morning, I've just heard terrible news about death and everything. So I did not feel like getting in front of the camera today and recording. I was literally like, 
tearing up earlier this morning so I don't feel like being on camera right now but um, regardless the show must go on we move but I just want to talk a bit about some of the things that dealing with death has been uh, has been telling me lately and that is number one guys you never know if you're going to see someone ever again we are so complacent with the people that we love we assume that we are going to see them tomorrow that we'll talk to them tomorrow you could literally talk to someone this morning and that'll be the last time you ever talk to them so i just want to say that don't live your life with beef don't live your life fighting with people don't live your life with um pride and ego that makes you contest with people for no reason if and where you can live your life in peace with others and in peace with yourself a lot of people say they want peace in their lives but one thing about peace it's not going to follow you you need to seek peace you know um, and what I mean by that is peace is in how you choose to react to things peace is in where you take yourself peace is in you know just how you handle things there's peace that surpasses human understanding that's the peace of god but the peace that you are also responsible for a, a part of your peace another thing is guys take time to enjoy your life and enjoy your life in a way that you truly feel you are enjoying it not in a way that is destructive to you i mean if you want to do things that are destructive to you and you're enjoying hey man it's your life you do what you want to do but take time to actually get to know how to enjoy life outside of you know the the, the preconceived things that people have you know how do I say this like I don't know guys like you know what I mean like learn what you like outside of just work and school and parties like do you like hiking do you like biking do you like movies do you like bowling like find your interests and just do them life chop life don't let life chop you and every single day you need to make a conscious effort to enjoy life and sometimes enjoying life is sitting outside sometimes enjoying life is reading a book just doing things that you want to do and not always doing things out of responsibility make time to be human in a day not just be a robot who must go to work go to school take care of kids uh, cook whatever but if you can give yourself just even 10 minutes to just be human and, and, and do something that makes you happy for the sake of just doing it. I'm not saying go and waste your funds and your and your money and spend it all, but spend your money, guys. Like, not every day all you do is just save, put money away, which is good. You must save, you must put money away because tomorrow will come by God's grace. But what I'm saying is also take a little bit of your money that you budgeted, that you can afford to use, for yourself. To enjoy. I mean, when was the last time you bought yourself some clothing, guys? When was the last time you bought yourself some shoes? When was the last time? I mean, food. I think we we often tend to to order food, but when was the last time you intentionally got food for yourself? Not just like, oh, let me just stop by get McDonald's, but when you were like, I'm gonna take myself out and I'm gonna eat. I guess right now I'm being really cliche, aren't I? I'm just listing all the things that that people will tell you all the time when people die and I guess I haven't had time to gather my thoughts I haven't had time to put together something constructive but I also want you guys to see this that my, I'm not always put together where I can come with to, with a list and, and it makes sense and present it to you so great this 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 is real this is human I'm thinking through a lot I'm processing a lot I have so much work to do this YouTube thing is overwhelming me right now um, but yeah guys sorry about that quick rant but those are some of the things that I just wanted to reinforce to you today. Start that thing that you want to start, whether it's a business, whether it's a, a hobby or something, you know, and, and work on breaking bad habits, work on improving the quality of your life. Some of you are just surviving, you're not living, you're just surviving. That's something I learned about recently through someone else, that some of you are not living to live, you're living to survive, that's it. And you're not surviving necessarily because you don't have the funds the, or the means, but because that's just how you have positioned yourself, that's just how you choose to govern and lead your life. Something that I always say is live your life in color. I always make a conscious effort to live my life in color because routine for me is black and white. Routine makes your life dull, bland and unexciting. Routine for me is when I'm doing work stuff, school stuff and you know stuff like that, stuff I have to do. But I always make sure to sprinkle some color into my life by doing something that I like. Whether it's going for a walk or it's, um, I enjoy editing videos and releasing videos but even that can also feel like work. So I just, I try, do something. Uh, that I want to do just to add color to my life do not live your life in black and white life is meant for living you know I, don't, I can't think of anything else right now my mind is kind of gone blank 
but um, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope your families are doing well. I'm so grateful to each and every single one of you who watch my videos and I just pray God fixes whatever is going on in this place because it's getting real ghetto on earth. I mean, it's been ghetto for a while, but like I just feel like it's kind of, it's just getting a bit more ghetto. Anyway, um, it is now 105 so I'm going to stop this and try and get this video out as soon as possible um, That being said, I'm so sorry that I couldn't get the video out that I wanted. I hope that this Has brought you some kind of insight if not. Sorry guys. It is what it is It is what it is <laughs> Like this is this is real life, you know, it happens um, and I didn't want to disappoint by not posting at all um, so Yeah, it is what it is I don't know. Okay, that's it for today guys. I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to comment, like, share and subscribe and I will be back with more videos. Any videos that you guys would like to see me do, please comment down below and I'll try and make them happen for you. Peace and love guys.